Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Amaya Tutorials. And in this particular video, I'm going to talk about a not so famous visual yet but very very powerful, uh, especially when it comes to analyzing your data. Um, I had the uh, opportunity to create something like this and show it to my boss where I am working, and he was completely impressed with the. Um, functionality this particular visual offers and the kind of data uh, that you can see and analyze here is beyond imagination right uh, so i suggest you guys to use this particular visualization and incorporate this into your uh, dashboard and this will take the analysis to a different level right so let's get started uh, i'm going to first explain what this visualization is capable of doing and how you can do the analysis and then take you to how you can uh, create this particular visual and then also we will be taking to a next level uh, in in the another video that i will be making right so what this visualization is doing basically is uh, so i have a sample data set over here which is uh, obviously sales data set right so this is my total sales so I now have in the data set, I have the sales data from 15, 2014, 15, 16 and 17. So that's four years of data, right? Now in a view, um, uh, I, am, I, I can see that the total sales made till now in the last four years were uh, 2.2 million, right? And then it's broken down by years. Now you have sales for 17, 16, 14 and 15. Now this is sorted by uh, the amount so you see it this way the highest is uh, comes on the first right and then I have broken down by categories so basically when I click on 2017 here uh, it tells me that which is the category which has uh, highest number of sales and then I have my subcategory and then I have my shipping mode which is the you know uh, what do people prefer the most standard second class first class etc right and then i have the breakdown of the city right now obviously you now can play around with it let's say you don't want to see the shipping mode right and you want to see the city first and then go into the category right so i'm just going to close the city i'm going to come to the category over here and then click on city right and then i'm going to come here and then click on let's say category and uh, now when I click on 2017, I'm getting a, a view of uh, which is the top city which is making highest number of sales. And then when I click on New York City, I'm going to get to see which is the category which is doing the best uh, in New York City, right? And then when I click on Seattle, it says technology. And then when I click on Los Angeles, it's again technology. And then when I go to uh, New York, it says technology, right? And then Let's come back here and then let's say you want to um, see how much is the monthly sales happening uh, in technology. So you click on month, you get to see uh, which are the months that are there, uh, which are, uh, you know, the sales by month, right? And then if you want to see which is the subcategory and then you can do that. So basically it's a complete, uh, you know, um, uh, a very custom made uh, to suit your requirements so that you can analyze the data however you want based on your business needs right so i hope you've got a, 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 a an idea of how this visual is going to work right so let's get started i'm going to now teach you how to create this visual so uh, uh, let me start from here i'm going to go to the visualizations here and click on this particular icon which says decomposition tree and then I'm just going to uh, enlarge this and then uh, bring in my fields over here. So the first thing that I will be getting in here is my sales amount, right? So this is where we will be starting and this is what we would like to analyze. And then uh, I will, I'm going to bring in all the categories here, which I think are important for us to analyze the uh, data. And then I will bring in category. So you just need to click this so it automatically goes and sits here in the explain by section and then I'm going to click on city, country, uh, I don't need customer ID, customer name, uh, I don't need the product ID or name as well, um, I might need region, uh, I might need uh, ship mode, I might need state and I might need subcategory, right. So once you have all of your uh, um, uh, uh, fields in the explain by section, all you can do is just click this plus icon here and uh, 
see what you would want to add one thing we forgot to add is uh, the order date so i'm going to click on order date so when you click on order date you get all these uh, uh, you know um, little um, fields here which you can or uh, expand by so you have year quarter month and day let's say you don't want day you can just click on day and cl close that and you don't get to see it here so when i click on this plus icon here you will see we have year we have quarter and we have month let's say we want to see by year and then we click here and then let's say you want to see which is the uh, subcategory and then you click on subcategory and then let's say you want to see which is the country which is doing here right and then let's say you want to take a look at uh, the uh, category sorry not category let's say you want to take a look at the uh, shipping mode you get to see the shipping mode and then in shipping mode let's say you want to take a look at the uh, city right so you get to see that and then on this top right uh, 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 top right hand corner over here you have this ellipsis you can click on this you can click on sort by and then you have various uh, categories uh, or various fields that are available here for you to sort by i'm going to click on sales for now so all my sales are going to be uh, sorted i'm going to sort ascending uh, sorry sort descending and then I'm going to click on top over here it's come all the way bottom so the so this is my top city which is making highest number of sales so this is how you can explore you can analyze your data by taking it to the next level and uh, believe me your bosses are going to love this particular visual because it gives them a lot of freedom to play around and see and visualize uh, the uh, data right and uh, i'm i'm going to be making another video where i i will be explaining how you can take the spend tree visualization or the decomposition tree visualization to the next level by having uh, uh, a, a, a default view of a certain categories right i'm going to have that uh, i'm going to post that video soon on my channel so please uh, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that you get a notification whenever i post a new video and uh, Please like the video if you've learned something new, if you like this video and let me know what tutorials you would like to see on my channel. So I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new. Thank you so much for watching.